Welcome back to the channel guys, Nemesis here and I'm playing some P.E.K.K.A. You know, trying to reminisce a little bit playing some P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> and um, yeah, not much else to really say about it man. Um, yeah, I don't even know bro. I'm just going for my Electro Wizard in the back right here. And he's got the Prince, so this could potentially, like you know, I haven't really seen Prince in a while. This might be like... Okay, yeah, I was gonna say Giant Double Prince, because he has the e -Wiz. so Prince and e -Wiz, this looks like Giant Double Prince, so, um, wow. Okay, I mean, I guess not, you know, that is so strange. I really was not expecting a Mega Knight. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, like, I shouldn't even be guessing anymore, bro. <laughs> I should not even be guessing anymore. That is so strange, man. This guy just whips out the most strange deck I've seen. For the most part, at least, you know, it's got a little bit of synergy, you know, but it's it's just not meta. That's what I'm trying to say, you know, so um, it just caught me off guard. My ghost did a ton of damage, by the way, so that's always really nice to see. And um, you know what? Not going to lie to you. I have a pretty decent elixir advantage here, so uh, I'm just going to do the exact same play I basically just did earlier. Just going for like the e was P.E.K.K.A. push and this should be really, really good, honestly. Um... So there's the Electro Wizard. My P.E.K.K.A. should get on the tower. Um, okay, so yeah, he's going to go for the Mega Knight last second. Totally fine. You know, totally fine. I'll just go for my Fireball plus Zap, making sure that E was goes down and everything like that. And look at that. I take the tower. I knew that play was so good because, like I said, if I didn't have that Elixir advantage, um, I wouldn't be able to do that play right there. So, uh, yeah, not much else to really say. You know, kind of a waiting game at this point. So, um, yeah, man. Um, he's going for a Goblin Gang right there. Totally fine. So, I'll just go for my Royal Ghost right here. And he's going for a Prince in the back. So, I'll just go for my P.E.K.K.A. in the back. And um, let's see. Just chilling. This guy's got an Infernal Dragon, too. Okay, well, I think that's like the first time he's played at this match. Because, uh, yeah, I think that is. Uh, okay, so he just... I don't even know what he has anymore, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if he has, like, a mini P.E.K.K.A. in this as well. Like, I don't even know. Maybe he's played eight cards already. I wasn't really keeping track of his cards, to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, but I'm assuming, to be honest, yeah, he has no other cards in his deck. So, uh, yeah, this is a really nice win, bro. This is just a really, really nice win. Honestly, it kind of looks like my matchup, but uh, just the surprise factor in the beginning really caught me off guard. But... Let's go ahead and jump for the next match. Here is the next match, and let's see what this guy's got for me. So, um, if anything, you know, I'll just probably cycle my Royal Ghost right here. He goes for a Goblin Barrel, so I'll just respond with my Electro Wizard. And so this is Log Bait for sure, probably. Um, and he's got a Snowball. Okay, um, pretty interesting. He's got a tornado as well. Okay, yeah, I don't know what that this is. So, um, he's got minions. Wait. Wait a minute. I played against this guy before. Oh my gosh, I played against this guy before. I know exactly what this guy's running now. So, um, yeah, he's got the spear goblins. He's got Sparky and Giant as well. It's so strange. He just basically plays this deck all the time. So yeah, his other cards is Sparky plus Giant, and um, this is a really good matchup for me, by the way. So, um, you know, if I lose this, man, I should just retire, because <laughs> this matchup is so free. It really is, man. Like, there's, yeah, there's the Giant right there. Um, he's got the minion, so I'm just going to Fireball to protect my Magic Archer. Go for a Bandit as well, so um, let's see what else this guy wants to do here. I'll just go for my Batarang because he's a really awkward cycle too, so... Exactly, he has to play a Goblin Barrel for that, so I'll take a Zap to make sure I get a connection right there. And, uh, this is looking really good. So, um, not much else to really say at the moment. Like I said, super, super good matchup for me, so... Uh, I can't complain, you know? Uh, I cannot complain at all. You know, it gives me a break from all the other, you know, Evolution Knight decks or regular goblin decks um this is a nice break okay this is a very nice break so um if only all matchups were like this bro <laughs> that'd be amazing but um he's got the sparky so yeah there's a sparky 
And at this point in time, I'm also just going to pressure like crazy in the opposite lane because he doesn't have a big spell. So Magic Archer in this matchup actually gets so much value. Um, the only way he can really kill Magic Archers if, is if, you know, he plays Tornadoes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just like that, exactly. So that's really the only way he can kill Magic Archers is he just like plays them into the Sparky and stuff like that. So... Yeah, it gets really awkward for them to defend, or for him to defend, I should say. And uh, I'll just go for a Royal Ghost, plus my Magic Archer, plus a Battle Ram again. Just kind of rinse and repeat, because, you know, this exact, like, formula of push, he just can't defend. It's just too much. It's, like, his deck is just so awkward against Pekka. I don't know what to say. And uh, right here, I'm actually in a little awkward spot, not going to lie. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to Electro Wizard this. I'm going to have to eat a Sparky Shot, and I'm going to go for a Zap. Uh... And then I'm going to go for a Fireball. So I had to eat the Sparky Shot right there, but I played it super well. Let's go ahead and jump to the next game. Here is the next match, and it is against King. So let's see what this guy has. He's going for a Knight in the back, so I will respond with my P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Um, kind of a risky play on my end, honestly, but I feel like I didn't really have anything else better to do. So he's got a Magic Archer. Um, okay, right here... I'm just going to wait a little bit and I'm just going to, you know, band it right here for the Magic Archer. And that should be pretty nice. I'm going to Battle Ram immediately because I think this is... Yeah, it's exactly this deck. This deck is running rampant right now, I'm telling you guys. It is so popular. Um, yeah, I don't know re really what else to say. This matchup is a little tough, not going to lie. Uh, especially this variation. I think the Magic Archer variation is a little bit more stronger or not really stronger but more annoying for pekka than the spear goblins bats variation because you know they have tornado as well so um yeah he just wow he actually misses <laughs> yo yo this guy actually missed okay okay well that actually helps me a lot so i'll take that any day of the week um i'm just going to eat those spear goblins and i'm just going to reset here just you know reset and um let's see I don't know if I want to peck at this though. Like I kind of want to just battle ram honestly, and he's going for a minor right there. Totally fine. So, um, let's see here. He's going for a bomb tower. So, right here, I think I want to go for a peck up because I had no other good play. Right? I just don't want to cycle a magic archer. Don't want to cycle a electro wizard because E wiz is super important on defense. Um, wow, this guy is also like so desperate for damage too. Like, that is crazy. I've never really seen someone. Well, actually, I kind of have. You know, people just magic archery anything. So, uh, yeah. Also, did you guys see the Evolution Knight nerf and the Evolution Barbarians nerf? Um, personally, you know, they're still very solid cards, both of them. But um, I'm glad they got a nerf. It's a step in the right direction for sure. And, um, you know, always happy about that. So, I'm you know, going for a peck in the back. Right here, I'm actually going to try to prediction fireball this guy's magic archer right here. Um, are you serious? Are you are you actually serious right now? How did he like? I don't understand why he didn't play it earlier. Did he like predict the prediction or something, bro? <laughs> I don't get it, man. Oh my gosh! I swear, in a different dimension, bro. If I if I didn't prediction him right there, he would have definitely dropped it. But since Oh my gosh, my bandit connects. Oh wait, hold on. My bandit connects. Um, okay, you know what? That made up for it, alright? That made up for it for sure. My bandit. My bandit was like, alright, you know, I'm gonna take care of business for you. So, you know, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, you know, bandit clutching up at the end. I really would have lost that game too. I would have definitely lost right there if that didn't happen at the end. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.